Hello and welcome to the Tech Mojo. In today's video, we will see how to add a context path to your Spring Boot application. So before we get started, let's understand what a context path is. In Spring Boot application, a context path represents the base URL for accessing your application. By default, it is set to slash. Now let's look at this example to understand more about it. The code snippet you see on my screen, it is basically we have defined a product controller and the product controller is a REST controller type. What it means is is basically a RESTful API. And this controller is mapped to the endpoint slash products. And under this, we have multiple, uh, multiple different endpoints, like we have a get mapping, which means a get endpoint, uh, get endpoint uh, for slash products. And then we have a post mapping, uh, which is used for creating a product into the database. And this is taking a product DTO. And then the next thing we have another get endpoint, which is uh, which is used to fetch the product details by product ID. And we have similarly delete mapping and patch mapping. Now the delete mapping, is, as the name indicates, it is used to delete a product by product ID. And patch mapping is to update an existing product which exists in the database. Now in this controller, if I run this, let's see how we use those endpoints. So for testing this, I'm using Postman. And in my Postman, I'm trying root, which is pointing to localhost 8080, and then slash products. So when I hit localhost 8080 slash products, I'm getting a JSON response back here. Now, what we want to change here is we, instead of calling directly to products, we want to add some sort of prefix to this API URL. Now, what we want is we want something like API slash 1.0 and then slash products. Obviously, this is not going to work because the Spring Boot application still doesn't understand it. And that's what we're trying to fix here in this part of this example. Now, let's to do that, let's go back to our Spring Boot application and open the application YAML file. Now, you might be using application properties, but the same configuration is applic applicable there as well. Now, in the application YAML, let's use a property called server. Then we have servlet. And under servlet, we have context path. Now, in the context path, let's set it to slash API slash 1.0. And with this change, let's rerun our application. Okay, my application started again. Let's go back to Postman and see what it does. Now, let's hit the same endpoint again with the prefix applied, which is slash API slash 1.0. And now you see the response is coming back from server. So at this point, Spring Boot application now understand our context path and the, the, the request is routed correctly to the correct controller. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you like this how-to guide, please like my video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching and happy coding.